enjoy your music. Today we bring you a very special presentation entitled A Musical Journey of Austria. From tiny medieval villages to cities, from snow-covered Alps to flower-covered meadows, from the music of Mozart to the folk music of the people, we bring you this musical presentation from one of the world's most famous countries, Austria. In Upper Austria, not far from St. Florian, is the old medieval town of Steyr. Behind me stands one of the ancient gates into the walled city, which leads to the castle behind. Steyr is known for its ironworks, its ornamental buildings, painted houses, and beautiful flower boxes. But in a musical sense, it is best known for the two composers who lived and worked here. Schubert and Bruckner. Bruckner came here many times to visit his friend who was organist of the main church. And Bruckner not only composed here, but he was also part of the performances of his own compositions. Schubert enjoyed the beauty of Steyr, and it was here that he composed his Forellen Quintet, the Trout Quintet, along the river ends. He came here at various times in his life and composed and enjoyed visits with friends.
Nestled in the hillsides along the Danube, not far from Vienna, are found historic monasteries and castles. Some of the castles are inhabited, others are not. One of the most interesting of these castles is the castle of Arstetten, whose residents are descendants of the imperial family. We had the honor of speaking with Count and Countess de Rambeau. Welcome to the Joy of Music. We're very happy to have you here today. Well, thank you. It's a beautiful place. You must enjoy it so much here. Yes, I think we live very happily here, too. I think there are many people that would like to know what life is actually like here in a castle. <laughs> I think to make it cl uh, clearly, one shouldn't uh, think too much uh, exaggerating uh, thoughts about it. It's a quite normal family life. I've got four children. I have a bit larger house than uh, other families. So it naturally is um, not only my children, which I take care of, but friends, family, and also visitors who come to see our house and to see also our museum, which makes it a bit larger uh, work, or a bit uh, larger horizon of activities. But in the, I mean, in the compared to other family or mothers, it's about the same. Mm -hmm. I understand that there is actually a. Uh museum here in the castle where tourists come and, and see the history and read about the history of the uh, imperial families and so forth? Uh, the, the museum is about the, the last century of the imperial uh, family uh, because the house belongs uh, a long time to the imperial family and <clears throat> because the last heir to the throne is buried here in Adstetten. So we have a lot of tourists coming um, uh, of all Europe and um, it's not only for the tourists that we are uh, looking that the castle is uh, well up, mm -hmm. uh, but it's also for us because we're living in it. Yes, that's very important. So it's just your home and you're taking very good care of it. Exactly. Well, I thank you very much, Countess Anita and Count Rame, for being on the Joy of Music today and being so cordial to all of us at your beautiful home. Oh, thank you. Very nice for thank us. you very much. We were very happy to have you here. <laughs> The organ of the Maria Tafril Church is one of the most important found along the Danube. It was built in 1760 by the Austrian organ builder Johann Henk. It has been restored several times since, first in 1910, then in 1965. It has 3,300 pipes and 50 registers. Over the years, it has sung the praises of God to thousands of visitors who have come here.
In the northeastern corner of Austria, on the river Danube, lies Vienna, the least spoiled of all the great European capitals. An imperial city of gracious public buildings, palaces, parks, and churches. Behind me is the famous Berg Theater, one of the oldest and most traditional stages in all of the world, and one of the most celebrated in all of the German-speaking countries.
ensembles of Vienna is the Vienna Boys Choir. Dating back to 1498, it was founded by Maximilian I and was known as the Imperial Boys Choir. Visitors to Vienna may hear the Boys Choir perform most of the year in the Hofburg Kapell every Sunday morning. The complete choir totals 100 choir boys, but divides into four groups for touring. We are actually hearing the boys rehearse now, here in their official residence, the Old Garten Palace. We are very fortunate today because the Vienna Boys Choir is performing especially for the joy of music. The tiny village and monastery of Melk stands not far from Vienna. We are atop the hill where one may see many miles in the distance the beautiful Danube, the Wachau Valley, which is one of the most beautiful parts of Austria, and also the village below. We are reminded of God's creation and His gifts to us. In Psalm 19, we read, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth His handiwork.
praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music. Diane Bisch and The Joy of Music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.